Hi y'all, welcome back. I'm back with the Midnight Suns here and we're following Agatha to this gate. I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about this. I, I really don't have a good feeling about this, but uh I guess let's uh let's go. Looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do, but it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. Bloggate entered the portal. All right, challenge, challenge mission. Try have the open the way to locations buried. Okay, begin. All right, let's see what happens. Not what you were expecting, is it? There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah? Caretaker was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should have. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes. But I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? Charlie! Oh, wow. The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Okay then. The fellow enemies to complete the encounter. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. You were too weak for this fight. You have earned this. Your mother abandoned. They cannot possibly match your strength. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. Leave some for the rest of us. Feel my call.
The light will carry you on. You can imagine why Sarah was so fond of Ashtor. If I didn't know better, I would say she modeled her role as caretaker after the goddess herself. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finish this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. Well, Kayleen, I went pretty good. Gift allows magical locks and gates to be open. Open with or open will allow you to access new areas of the obby and its grounds with which are locked by magical means. After everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? The goddess must be present. Oh. Oh. You have really freaking aim. She does not see it happening. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. 
And now I'm rambling on like an old sorcerer supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah, uh, caretaker, isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Good girl, Charlie. Come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. What? If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. Do you think this will be enough to give us an edge? I hope so. Whatever it is, it's quite powerful. I'm relying on my instincts here, but truly that's all I have to rely on until I can find a way to access the Sanctum's archives again. That seems a bit risky. Right now, with the Sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Approach the anvil, Hunter. We do not have time to spare. Please tell me it's not another amulet. <coughs> By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Tower. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. <laughs> Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I 
believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. <coughs> A simple object, though certainly not useless. Remind me again why you haven't digitized this stuff already? This is going to take way longer than it has to. There's something to be said of the An intriguing possibility. How's it going, boss? If I get one counter and twenty one blocks. Alright. How long did you say you were exposed? I'm happy to help, Hunter. No demons to report here, boss. You moving into the forge, Hunter? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass. But the creature trapped inside riles up my own mini demon. Um, speaking of... There's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first Spirit of Vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... Johnny Blaze. Three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? <laughs> That's what I call my okay, spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Samaria and Sofa. It would be my honor to spar the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. <coughs> thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Let's go. I see a ghost rider. That's so cool. <laughs> like play with fire. Every day, the, er, every day the hunter can choose a new partner to spare with, resulting in increased friendship and unique rewards. Maybe you should be the same. Incomplete. Got a minute, Hunter? Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble. Apocalypse <coughs> prophecies. The Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus. The way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb. Unbelievable, isn't it? That bomb was clearly meant for me. I am in her debt. 
Yeah, but I don't think she sees it that way. She just saves people. Amazing. Smart, quick-witted, fearless. Hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes. No. Wait, wait. What are you trying to say? You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. My apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too. But yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally started to handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. Then I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Okay, I gotta find... I gotta find her. How the frick am I supposed to do that? Nico, do you know where magic is? We need her. Uh, let me guess. To open another portal? She's getting a little tired of being the only person here who can do that. Can't say I blame her. This is serious, Nico. Where is she? Hmm, not sure. But I know she's been looking for Wanda's grimoire, so maybe check in Wanda's room? Thanks for your help. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. <coughs> Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. That is no ordinary book. I can sense it from here. Nothing in this place is ever ordinary. Especially this. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. No good ever comes from a book like that. Trust me. Funny. You sound like Wanda. She was also afraid of her power. I can almost hear her scolding me for invading her privacy. But I've done far worse than to rummage through someone else's things. Far worse. And so have you. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. 
You expect too much. <sighs> okay, I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. All right. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? Combat goes right around a combat bonus from spring with the hunter. I'd enter the squad to earn a powerful boost at the start of the next mission. Okay. Stopping you. Uh -huh. We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there. Disable the hydro helicopter before it can disappear. Er, before it can depart, target the helicopter with attacks to disable it before time runs out. Certain enemies will grant power cards. On KO to highlight the highlight an enemy with the cursor to see which card they will grant. Looks like Captain Marvel was right on the uh, see for ourselves. <coughs> Hail that. It's about time. <laughs> back into a job they have a chance to be instantly KO'd then inst instant KO chance goes up as the enemy's health is reduced. Heroes and supervillains cannot be knocked into drops. Oh 
noxious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. <laughs> Something. One more time. Is that the best you've got? I suppose it's something. need to clean up the rest of Hydra's forces. Let's do it! We don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Yeah, Mormon, that frickin' mission was hard. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. Mission rewards are tied to hero level, levels, so as the hunter gains levels in combat, the rewards offered on future missions will improve. Don't worry about leveling every hero. As the hunter's level increases, any weaker heroes will automatically level up so they don't f fall far behind tip at high at higher difficulty levels all hero levels all heroes level up faster granting granting access to higher rarity rewards sooner i uh, i'm gonna end this video off here um, that mission kind of took a little while, but, um, and that was actually a freaking, that was a hard freaking mission to do, bro. That was kind of hard. But anyways, y'all, if you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys and then in the next video. Peace out.